All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they the true children of Israel spoken of in the Bible and that the so-called white man is known as Esau or Edom in the Bible, our arch enemy, as you can say. We want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of GMS, and blessings to the brothers and the elect out there teaching truth and sincerity and also prophesying the downfall of this place. Jeremiah 30 verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the, the Lord power of Israel, saying, Write all these words, write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Yeah, what word? The word that he spoke to him, or, or the prophecies that he gave him, write them in a book, which is that book, the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. These is our law, statutes, and our commandments. You can get that in song. The so-called white man, he, he took the Bible and he twisted it and corrupted it. By that I mean he know the laws, he know the things written up in the scriptures, but he don't uphold it. He said America is a God-fearing country, but he don't keep none of the laws in the scriptures. He allowed homosexuality. He allowed adultery to go on. He uh, attacks you, which is usury in, in the scriptures. He's just unjust, and he's not, he's not perfect balance, man. He's about all wickedness. He took the scriptures and turned it upside down. Uh, Psalm 147 and 19. He shows his word unto Jacob, yep. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Now, Jacob had a twin brother named Esau, which is a so-called white man today. We say so-called because they really red. Because Esau's name was changed to Edom, which means red. Go ahead, start from the top. Psalm 147 and 19. He shows his word unto Jacob. His word, the Bible. God shows word unto Jacob. Go ahead. His statutes and, and judgments unto Israel. Unto Israel. Who is Israel? Jacob, our forefather. His name was changed to Israel. And then he had, he had his 12 children, the 12 patriarchs, which you get the 12 tribes of Israel, which today is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All you got to do is read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and it's clearly talking about the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. The reason why we, because it, it, it speaks about the curses. Why? Because the word that he gave to us, we don't keep it. We rather keep the so-called white man ways. So that's why we under the curses. That's why we killing each other. That's why we live in the ghettos. That's why we broke. That's why our kids die at a young age. We die at a young age. We got diabetes and all, and all type of ailments. That's why, because we under the curses. Because we didn't listen to the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. His statutes and judgments unto Israel, yep. he have not dealt so with any nation. This is in the Bible, in Psalms. If you got a little Bible that got the New Testament, you can you, it's in there too. Because it got Proverbs and Psalms in there. And it's telling you he has not dealt so with any nation. So when the so-called white man picks up the Bible, or a Chinese or a Japanese picks up the Bible, looking for our power, our Lord, for salvation, they can't get it. Salvation is only for the elect of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What did I say? And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Yep, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Because if they, they, if they wanted to keep the laws, then they would keep the laws. They in rulership right now. But they don't care. They're going to do it their way. But if they really knew what was best for them, they wouldn't have never touched it. By them not knowing the judgment, they don't know what's coming to them. Because the so-called white man think all of this is going to go on forever. If y'all pay attention to the news, what's going on over there with Russia and Ukraine and all of that, the Third World War is right around the corner. It ain't going to be no troops coming over here, troops going over there, all like that. It's going to be a third, it's going to be a nuclear, man. The Third World War is going to be nuclear. That's why America don't want other countries having nukes. Anybody trying to uh, get nukes, they trying to put sanctions on them. But it's okay for them to have nukes because they want to have the upper hand. But it's not, that's not so. 
Why? Because it tells you in Jeremiah, point all your arrows towards Babylon. Babylon is America, because Babylon means confusion. And that's all the hell we got in this country, man. It's nothing but confusion. I got a couple this is Isaiah 29 verse 16 surely you're turning up things upside down yes surely you're turning up things upside down speak up too right? but that's the so-called white man he turns things upside down the Lord said you should kill homosexuals the white man say let's let them get married surely you're turning up things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for for shall the work say of him that made it, he hath made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Uh, that, that was pretty Yeah, so basically you can't be above the Most High. Whatever the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High that he put forth, that's that. He put it there for a reason. You can't outsmart your maker. That's like, that's like a two-year-old trying to tell his daddy what to do or how to run the house. Your daddy is over you. Therefore, you can't tell your daddy what to do. The Lord created us. Therefore, we can't tell him what to do. The law, statutes, and commandments, all of that was for a good reason. The reason why not to eat pork. Why? Because you can get sick from it. Hey, how y'all doing, the man? The pigs is completely dirty. I ain't dirty. trying to interrupt y'all. I just like what y'all doing, brothers. That's all. This is 2 Ezra chapter 3, verse 36, you know, going what you said about the laws. It says, Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Yeah, that Israel by name has kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Because this is our Bible. He's our God. It's not for the heathen. It's not for the so-called white men. It's not for the Japanese, for the Chinese. That's why we get jacked up the most, because we're supposed to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. The, the law... That endures forever. So there is no old. There's a new testament. We don't have to keep the laws anymore. Man, it's established forever. Since the, since the beginning of creation, he gave it to Adam and Eve orally. And then it was written down. Forever. It's the same laws. Forever, forever. And now in, the, in our kingdom, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans' kingdom, the Israelites, when we rule, it's going to be written in our inward parts to where we won't go off again. That's going to be the new covenant. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Yeah, thou mayest be illuminated. If you walk in the precepts, that's how you get life. Because if you turn from it, you get what? Death. What it tells you in James. When you got lust, then you get sin. When you sin, you get death. This is the, this is the point why I brought this precept out. Verse 3. Give not thine honor to another. Yeah, give not thy honor to another. What is our honor? This Bible, man. Our power, the Most High, our nationality. Why? Because it tells you in Deuteronomy chapter 4 that this is what makes us different from the heathen. Go ahead. It says, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee, yeah, to a strange nation. Because this is only profitable unto us. A so-called white man can't benefit from this. Because he, there's no salvation for him. There's no salvation for the Chinese. There's no salvation for the Japanese. This book can only profit the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because that's who the book is for. Uh, just to add, you know, the reason why I, I brought it out, you know, just to add what you were saying, how pretty much these, these, these heathens, man, they took the scriptures and they turned everything upside down, man. That's why the Lord said don't give that, give that which is profitable unto thee to a strange nation, all right? Because yeah. you're seeing what they're doing with the Bible, man. They don't know how to handle it. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's too much power. So you know what they, they do? They make up their own rules, all right? But, but shortly, like the brother said, the Most High is going to bring hell on this place. Well, if you go to the movie, The Book of Eli, the, 
Eli, he had he had the Bible. He was reading it. It was in his end reports. He had a mission with the Bible. But the so-called white man, he wanted the Bible so he can rule over the people. This is not for them. You got a preacher, bro? This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. The secret things that belong unto the Lord, our power, uh, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. Unto us and our children, man. The Israelites. And it says forever. Go on. That we may do all the words of this law. Yeah, that we may do all the words of this law. Of course, we can't keep all of the laws in this society, but we can do it to our best ability. It tells you in Judges chapter 5, I believe, that we was we, to, uh, we are to rehearse the, the righteous acts. Hey, come Sorry, on. Man. I told you earlier, no stuff. foolishness, man. It said rehearse the righteous acts, man. You know? So we got to do it to our best ability. And we have to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove as well with it. Because the law say we're supposed to put homosexuals to death. But we can't do that right now. That's what the so-called white man, like he said, the brother said earlier, he turned it upside down. The Lord said put the put homosexuals to death, but the white man says give them rights. That's why they don't need our book, man. Because they use it to corrupt society. They know exactly what not to do. And, or, or exactly what to do to, to make a place be out of order. And then they try to say, God is for everybody. Yeah. That's something else they didn't turn upside down. The Lord is not for everybody, and the Lord is not even coming to save everybody. If everybody was to be saved, what's the point of being righteous? You should be able to just do what you want to do because you're going to get saved anyway. Jeremiah chapter 30, and I'll start back from the top, verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord power to, uh, of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Yeah, Israel and Judah, because the kingdom was split at a point in time. And him bringing that captivity, that's happening right now. With the Lord allowing us to get the name back, to get the language, the ancient language back, which is Hebrew, we starting to understand our nationality, man. Because it tells you in the, in the scriptures that we would discontinue from our heritage, which we did. For a point in time, we thought we was African Americans, or we, we thought we was Mexicans, we thought we was Native Americans. But part of that captivity is us coming back to our true nationality. That the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel. Not the Jewish people. They, they have nothing to do with our heritage, man. What y'all doing? No, we just reading the Bible. Letting the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they the children of Israel in the Bible. Um, it says, For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Yeah, which is, and which is that land? The, the land that the gutter rats is in. That land that they over there pollute. They, they, they can't grow trees. They got the biggest gate parade. The Lord's gonna, we're going to return to that land after the Lord destroy those people that's in that land. Because their blood got to be shed upon that land. That's gonna, that's what's going to cleanse that land. By them thermonuclear missiles in the Third World's War. Because eventually our, all, our whole nation is going to be saved. But on this first go around, the Lord is only going to deliver the elect. The elect is the ones that, that want salvation, that work for salvation, and strive for salvation. 